Well, good day viewers. Today we have a 2014 Chevy Silverado crew cab 4x4. It's a very clean truck. It's here because the check engine light is on. Got 272,000 kilometers on it. Now I suspect it's got an EVAP problem because it comes up with a message to check the gas cap. So it's likely got an EVAP leak probably a rusty uh, fuel pump vent line on it but we're going to scan it and see what codes it's got to offer so i've loaded the vehicle record because i've worked on this truck in the past and we're going to do a network code scan it should auto id and then we're doing a pre-scan first computer that will get scanned Catalyst Deficiency Code, nice. B0430 Catalyst Deficiency Code. Well, there's no uh, EVAP code. Hmm. HO2S Delayed Response Reach to Lean, Bank 1. That's not what I was expecting. I'll check the OBD2 side. HO2S delayed response rich to lean bank one sensor one. Is that the same side? Bank no the catalyst efficiency code is on bank two. Same codes in the OBD2 side. The EVAP system is test is run and passed. Well, we'll have to have a word with this customer. So I'm uh, recording oxygen sensor activity. The two on the left are the forward oxygen sensors, which are switching between 70 and 800 millivolts, which is normal in closed loop. The right upper sensor here is bank 2 post catalyst sensor and you can see it's it's somewhat toggling so the catalyst is a bit poisoned on that side. This one here is between 630 and 680. It's flat line between 5 and 700 basically. These are auto ranging graphs so it looks like it's a lot a lot more uh, uh, fluctuation than it is. So I predict that this thing's going to need a catalyst on the uh, bank two, eventually, crossover pipe. Uh, doesn't appear to be affecting the performance. So I'm going to do a purge and seal test now because I'm concerned about the um, the fact that the check gas cap message was coming on. So I'm going into bi-directional tests here. Where's purge and seal? Analyze, reset, purge and seal. Here it is. Purge controls the purge solenoid, closes the vent solenoid, seal commands the purge solenoid to 0% and keeps the vent solenoid closed. Fuel level should be between 15 and 85. Let's see where the fuel level is. So the fuel level's at about 60%. Of course, I could have seen that on scan data, I'm sure. Okay, so I want to graph fuel tank pressure in inches of water. Yeah, there's the fuel level remaining, 62%. And fuel tank pressure sensor voltage. So we're going to command the purge solenoid on and watch this build up in negative inches of water then we're going to click the seal when it hits around seven and it should hold vacuum and it's holding vacuum pretty good 
Now, seven inches of water is like, well, it's like very, very low PSI and pressure. I'm gonna check the gas cap. I'm gonna go release the gas cap and you'll see it. I am gonna put some silicone grease on that seal. It's a little tiny bit rusty, but I don't can't explain why the uh, check gas cap message was coming up unless there is a leak on top of the tank but uh, you normally would have a evap code for that so I'm repeating the test I suppose I can run a uh, bypass cold soap timer test but I don't think it'll run because it's probably too hot it is decaying slightly but I don't think that's enough to cause a problem. No. Functional test, service bay test. Gonna try this test. So we'll see if it'll do this test. Probably not. Generic device control limit exceeded. Usually it's uh, the engine is is hot. It won't allow the test to run because the heat from the engine will falsely affect the generation of vapor in the gas tank. So it's kind of a useless test. You have to get it on a cold soak, but not too cold. So I've removed the purge hose off the purge solenoid, which is right here. And I've got a fitting connected to it, and I've got my smoke machine connected to it. And you can see according to the flow test now we have a leak, but I have to close the vent solenoid with the scan tool. So now that I've closed the vent solenoid, you can see that it's beginning to build pressure in the tank. And the first graduation here is a 40 foul leak, 30 and a 20 foul. So I'm going to see how low it will go. There's the pressure. Inches of water. That's 10 inches of water. 12 inches of water. So I don't think this has got a rusty outlet on the top of the tank. Definitely not uh, less, less than 20 foul now. And we're at roughly 13 inches of water which is like 0.4 psi the red is in psi the black outside the graduations are in inches of water so it's very low so now we're down to 10 thou so the fuel tank is sealed as I suspected